Now, if you haven't heard about the Sun Tart, which is the French appetizer that has been all the craze, you are missing out. Celebration for the 14th of July is around the corner. If you're looking for something, you know, fast and easy and fun, then this is it. I'm not going to tell you much more about that. You need to discover it for yourself. Let's go. Now, what on earth is a Sun Tart? It is two layers of pre-roll, pre-made puff pastry in which a filling of your choice is encased in. Today, we're going to make a filling with ham, cheese, a bit of cream and onion. Usually you can use like pesto, red pesto, green pesto if you don't want to bother at all, but you can put anything you want in there and trust me, it is great because you can have multiple sun tarts, multiple flavors, it is absolutely delicious. And now for the most important part, you're gonna need two discs of equal size of puff pastry. If you buy the puff pastry, it's already a circle, perfect. If it's a rectangle like me, you're gonna be using like a bowl like this, cut around and have these two pieces of pastry. When they are ready, immediately you cover them, slice them on the plates and you reserve them in the freezer while we're making the filling, that's crucial. In the freezer, they need to be nice and stiff, nice and cold. Once the puff pastry is ready, it is time to choose your filling. The filling of choice to begin is to use red pesto and green pesto. You spread half of the tart with the green one, half of the, uh, the other side of the tart with the red one. Here I'm gonna do something a bit more special, a bit more my way, a filling of cheese, onion, cream, and cheese. This is Baimster, which is a Dutch Gouda, a great all-rounder. I've got three slices of ham, about two onions, about 100 to 150 ml of cream. The key, when you make any kind of sun tart, if you want to improvise with the fillings, you need to process everything like me in a food processor to have very, very small pieces. Okay, otherwise it's gonna cause problem when you're gonna want to make the decoration, as you will see later. I'm gonna keep the ham raw, of course, the cream and the cheese, but I'm gonna cook the onion on the stove right now. And now for the onion. I'm gonna saute the onion without coloration in a little bit of butter and for a good five or 10 minutes. Some people like to put the onions raw. It is a personal choice for me. I always find that the onions never cook if you encase them into pastry roll like this, okay? They're gonna be uncooked, they're gonna be crunchy, just don't like it. So for me, boom, in the pan, as soon as the butter is melted. Perfect, onion. So again, the quantities I'm using to onions is just to make sure uh, I've got enough, but that depends on how large the tart you're making is. And don't take these ingredients as the standard. The sun tart is a personal affair. You can use any filling you want, more onion, less onion, more ham, no ham, replace with bacon, it is entirely up to you. My onions are ready and I've got everything I need. Onions, the ham, and the cream. We're now gonna mix everything into a bowl with a spatula and we're gonna grate the cheese afterwards on top. Now using cream for that mixture is a bit of a bold move because it could really liquefy and goes everywhere, but I'm still gonna try and take a few risks. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna judge by just by the look. So some ham, I definitely want all the onions, I've cooked them like onions, and I'm gonna mix the whole lot first before adding the cream. Now, now that I've got this mixture, I'm gonna go very easy and I'm gonna add my cream in there. You see my cream is cold and you want to have this cold, trust me, because anything hot is gonna really, really affect your dough. You want to have a cold dough, a cold mixture, otherwise it's gonna be a struggle, okay? As soon as your mixture is ready, if it's too stiff, you can put it a little bit in the microwave and we're now gonna spread it on the first piece of dough. This is gonna be the bottom. Now you don't want to put too much of it at all and you don't want to have the mixture, you need to leave a free edge on the side here of just uh, you know, a few centimeters. So we're gonna apply a very thin coating, I'm gonna go very slowly, and go all around the dough, and putting my onion, ham, and cream mixture on there, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is how it looks like, and now I'm gonna, just gonna add some grated cheese on top. Now, I know what you must be thinking right now, like this is some a pizza, but actually it's not. Now, what we're gonna do is to put some egg wash on here and put something on top, the other piece of dough. The egg wash is just a beaten egg, and I'm gonna take a, a kitchen you know, pastry brush and a little bit, I'm gonna apply a little bit of it all around the edges so that the other piece of dough sticks. All done, and now, I'm gonna take the other piece of dough out of the fridge or the freezer, depending where you have it, and put it on top. Very important for your dough to be very cold because having this on top is gonna make the whole process much, much easier, as you can see here. So what we're gonna do, 
is to press slightly with the side of the hands like this in there, and so you think on here, up, and that's it. Now the next step is to measure where is the center. So you can take a tape measure and make a cross, whatever. And all what we're gonna do, we're gonna use a glass to make the center of that sun. So the glass can be small or large, depending on the side of your circle. So I'm gonna, just gonna try to aim somehow in the middle, okay? And you press a little bit, not too much. You don't want to break the door altogether, but you need to have that, that mark. So I'm gonna put it a bit more, because you really want to make that mark that's gonna be the definition of the center of your sun kind of shape, all right? And now we're gonna start cutting. Okay, my circle was not exactly in the middle. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Now comes the tricky bit. We need to start cutting. Now you don't want to cut inside the middle, okay? And you don't want to cut dry on the line because this end bit is what's gonna help us when we're gonna have to twist this piece. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go just from the half and you can start by cutting. Okay, you hold your dough and you start to make this shape. So one here, I'm gonna do the other side and I'm gonna go half, half and then quarters, okay? That is roughly, the idea here, okay, so another one here. Okay, and I'm gonna repeat the same. So I've got two indents, I'm gonna make the same here. Look, I'm gonna do a rough cut. I'm not gonna go too precise and use a tape measure for everything because I want to show you like, if you're at a home, you know, uh, you don't have to be perfect. It's like, you know, we're trying our best, okay? Um, black hole sun, you know that song? No, no, no. It looks like a sun, you see? Oh, it's nice. I could put this on my wall, almost, <laughs> okay. But now comes the harder bit. Now, if your dough becomes too soft, put this back into the freezer very quickly, okay? So you don't want to mess around. You want this to be firm, especially for the next step, which is gonna be here. So what we need to do for the final, this is the most important. You get the smaller pieces like that, okay? This is really, really important. Let me zoom in first so we can show. Sure. All right, so this is where we have to make sure it works and it's cut properly. So these pieces on here, now you need to take the pieces and twist the whole thing. So you see, you have to make sure you got enough, enough room and you need to twist this, hold it like this, tw once at least and ideally some kind of twice like that to give a bit of a shape. So you do a bit of a twisty, it's not the best thing, but you're gonna be twisting your pieces like this, you see, because, you see my sun tart is not very, so I'm gonna have to get away with one twist, I think. Look, I'm gonna go with one twist. One little twist to give that kind of shape. So okay, so I'm gonna do another one. And you see, small is not per se good. You see, maybe I should have used a smaller glass because now I'm running out of space for my twisties. And we're gonna make a nice shape all along, all along the tart, and try to give that kind of sunny thing. So let me do it and I'll show you. The sun is shining on the horizon, people. <laughs> Look, my knife was super sharp. It cut through the paper. Look at that, we're done. My improvised filling with the sun tart is ready. And you see that effect? So we're gonna put a bit of more egg wash just in there for the coloring and everywhere if we can. Actually, I should have maybe put the things the egg wash on there if you want, but I'm gonna put just a little bit for the color. So that's up to you, final touch, decoration. Operation sun complete. Look at this little thing, such a festive look, the sun dot, it always looks great. But this is when it's raw. What's gonna happen, we're gonna be cooking it. That's always a bit of a mystery. So what we're gonna do for now, you're gonna put this in the fridge, ideally the freezer to make sure it stays in shape, very important. You're gonna preheat your oven at 180 degrees Celsius. Some people put it at 170. And we're gonna be cooking this until nice and golden. Usually, definitely 25, I would say even 30 minutes for the filling. We want to take it slow, have the coloring, make sure everything is properly cooked and not have something that falls apart. So, fingers crossed people. Let's cook this and see what it looks like at the end. Let's go for the transformation. Would you look at this after 30 minutes? It was spot on and our sun tart is ready. I'm glad of that little glass thing, that indent. It really looks like a little sun. So this is how it looks. What is the purpose of the sun tart? It's an aperitif in which you can take off some of the sides here, some of the bits and pull them off. In the middle, you can put a melted cheese. You can put like maybe sausage snacks. You can put like rockets or salads. Uh, or anything that you want in here. You can leave it as is for decoration, but you can fill this with something of your choice. When it comes to eating it, as I said, you can have different kinds of filling, but it's a, it's a party thing. So I'm just gonna try to make sure I've cut a bit. 
But the whole thing is to tear apart. You, you twist and tear apart something on the side like that. And up, you get your little kind of individual slice of goodness. And someone with a drink on the side is going to go like, ah. Wow. Mm. Okay, yeah. I'm going to report <laughs> that the mixture of ham, onion, and cheese works really well. I didn't overdo the cheese, but it is just enough. It's a nice layer of puff pastry. It's actually a lot of puff pastry. Mm. And this little glass of champagne, of white wine, is absolutely gorgeous. So if you have a party next time, you don't know what to make, you want to celebrate, especially the 14th of July, think of the sun tart. I would make different versions with different filling, different tastes, and it's just absolutely beautiful. Well, what a thing the sun tart. It actually gave me even more ideas. You could make sweet version with almond cream and stuff like that. It's inside, you can make a dessert one, a salty one. But that completes the video for this week. Yes, Bastille Day is coming, and this is why I wanted to make that thing, because if you want to make a buffet, you can make plenty of those with different fitting, and you put some flags and something on there, and yes, let's celebrate the Bastille Day and the revolution. Okay, I'll see you all next time. Next week for another French cooking video on the channel. Take care all. Bye-bye.